enterprise and we essentially work with entrepreneurs. Um, so we have built up a six month curriculum for the entrepreneurs to go through that essentially prepares them to disrupt the world that they're going to go into. Um, and we have prepared the six month curriculum for people in retail, food and beverage, IT and the arts. Um, after the six months, we connect them to legal support as well as funding and finally to organizations that can support them in what they do. In line with this, we essentially founded the company last year uh, in December in London. That was me and my two co-founders, uh, Tabakot Tukane, who is South African, and Toyou Semer, who is Eritrean. Uh, mostly because we had a heart for the young people, and we came together because we wanted to make an impact and specifically create jobs for young people in the country. Um, our plan is to start off in Kenya, move to Ethiopia, then finally Ghana and South Africa. Um, and I'm grateful. So I'm going to just introduce them quickly. Uh, Ferruz, yes, you, they can come. Uh, Ferruz and Tomoko are here. Um, yeah, so they will just come. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wabe, yeah! because of the pilots that we essentially decided to do here in Kenya, um, where 30 of the entrepreneurs have gone through our six months curriculum in crash course. We are very proud of them. And because of that, um, essentially, we can say that the Ariel program is successful because of the people that they have become after the program. And you will see a lot more of that in the rest of the program. Um, Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you very much, guys, for coming. I hope you enjoyed the night, and welcome. Did not see our friends, and it was Christmas and New Year's, because we would work close to 15 hours per day. And when we finally started um, planning things, and, and even in January started looking for sources of funding, um, the ladies will tell you we've had small victories, but most of the time we got doors slammed. Um, in particular, very white doors slammed, I must mention. Um, and a lot of the time as an entrepreneur, you expect your biggest support to come from people that you know, but it, it was contrary for us because the biggest support came from strangers when we least expected it. And I literally remember, I think it was in March, that Peru said, guys, we're going to do a pilot in Kenya in September. And because me and Taboho are very realistic, we laughed, I think, for a good one hour. And we, we laughed, we went, we came back, and we laughed again. And I thought that she was joking for like a good week. And then she just kept planning things. And I was like, okay, this is a thing. And then we began the journey towards actually making this dream of creating employment in Africa, not just something on paper, but a reality. And I, I, I would be faulted if I forgot to mention that immediately after that, we then recruited the Ariel for Africa ambassadors. So people that essentially work with us, that make what we do possible. Um, and the ambassadors came in both locally and globally. So quite a number of them are here, others are in other countries. And without them, this dream would have never happened. And... Whew. We will acknowledge them later, but I want them to know that from the bottom of my heart, there is no gift that we can give to you for making this. Oh. <laughs> we should have put you sacrifice work and family and things that they have had to do and have never asked for anything in return. And I'm so grateful. Next is our entrepreneurs. 
because 300 people applied for this to go through the Ariel pilot. My makeup artist will be upset with me. <laughs> just had to break the ice. You have to pick the right people. And when she asked me, um, and when she was telling me about the interviews and all the people that were essentially, oh, my family's got me. When, when they were telling me um, the people that they were interviewing, I kept on saying, you need to make sure that they have the heart for Ariel. It's not just about the ideas that you guys carry. It is about the heart that we saw in you. And that was the main reason that they were selected over others. Others had brilliant ideas. The financials figured out. They had everything in mind. But I can't say that I looked at them and said, I know where you'll be in 10 years. And I looked at each of their bios, and Feroz did so in her interview, and we all said, we know where they'll be in 10 years. And that was why you guys were selected, because we saw potential. And then they came for the pilot, and I was blown away. Blown away. And we've had, in the beginning, they essentially had to give us like a brief about their company. And some of the things that were there were very interesting. Uh, I must say, very interesting pieces of paper we received. I will not expose anybody. But over the time of the pilot, whenever they were asked, did you know about this issue or this subject or this theory or this idea or this way of doing something? And they would say, no. Or they'd say one out of five. You guys had a skill. One or two <laughs> out of five. We don't know. We, uh, yeah, we don't know. If for Ferus, they say, Mindy, no. We don't know. Then, when they were asked if they thought it was key to their operations, they said five out of five. And then they were asked how much knowledge they had about it now. They'd say four and then say, I just need to come for the six months. And then when they were asked if it would make a difference in their business, they said five out of five. And Ariel has everything that an entrepreneur needs to be successful. The only thing that has cut us in the knees so far is that the number of people that have believed in us have been limited. But now I know that with this pilot, it's not just hot air, it's not just the dream or the vision that we have, we can now show what we have done. We can now point to the 30 entrepreneurs who will start, if they haven't already, successful businesses. And those who have already started will scale up. We promise them that after the one week, we pledge to mentor them weekly for the next six months. We did not charge for this pilot program. We did not charge them for this standard dinner. We will give some of them seed support. And our only reason for doing all of this is because our heart is for the entrepreneurs. If we could give Ariel for free, if we could give Ariel for free to every African passionate entrepreneur, we would. We just need the people who believe in us. And the only reason that this pilot happened is because we got one person who really believed in us. Wherever he is, may God increase him. Amen. Amen. And other people who gave us smaller amounts to enable this to happen. And wherever they are, may God multiply them. Amen. Amen. Guys, I am so thankful and I'm so grateful that you came to celebrate with us. And I pray that you will stay in the Ariel family. That you will forgive me for crying. No. It's and okay. I will text my makeup artist. It's okay. <laughs> about your businesses in low tones and it came in with so much energy such that the person who was after me was louder than I was okay wow second when we did our first pitching everyone was scared I looked at everyone literally everyone was scared the second one what do you guys think confidence better yes confident right when you got in there you you had it so I'm going to say two things about the week. The week was intensive. You learned six months worth of curriculum in one week. Trust me, you'll drop off. I remember walking out of class and telling Ferus, I give up. I give up. 
when one of our coaches called uh, Houston, right, walked into the room, um, and he was going us through the the nods of entrepreneurship, right? Yes. When I came into that room, I had seen myself driving a Range Rover when I was in six months' time, and I was gonna own a house in Kabul. Yes. 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 I believe that was a minute. Yes. <laughs> but when he said, "You will sweat." My idea, I don't, I don't need to sweat, right? And it happened to every one of us, right? So we went through the system, and you realize, well, six months, Range Rover. My friend, you have to sweat. <laughs> so it, it was an interesting week. Um, and I'm going to say this, we are all winners. I came in as a solo business. I came out with a team. Okay. In my business, there were some things that I hadn't figured it out. I got someone to handle them for me. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? I had issues with website. She came in. I had an issue with distribution. Mr. Logistics guy is here. So, we were 30. I came out with 30 contacts. Okay? And it's very interesting, after our first pitch, um, I remember Firuz and Taboho came and uh, they were like, why haven't you guys left? <laughs> you created a family. Oh. This is a family right here. And guys, I'm going to tell you what they just said as well. Entrepreneurship is not easy. I have gone through different curriculums in my line of work. I have actually come up with an accelerator like them when I was in uni and what they're teaching, I even told them, I'm going to link them up. Like what I came up with, uh, you guys just take over. Okay? So as you get out of this place, remember, who is sitting next to you is your partner, regardless of what they do. I live in the urban centre. I eat my vegetables. I have a guy here who can show me how to plant vegetables in my home. In Nairobi. Okay? Alright? So anyone who is sitting next to you is a partner in one way or another. Right? So I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say brutally what they told me and I'm gonna point out each and every person. Amy, they loved you. <laughs> Mary, I think everyone wants to have a one-on-one -on -one session. <laughs> oh my god! <Lord. laughs> Alessandro, you got some. Some you didn't. <laughs> but the whole flash drive thing, you like that. Everyone went home with a flash drive. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. But you told us a lot. You told us a lot. Um, Eddie? I don't know. He, she just teaches you, you know what? No nonsense. Just get into your business. No nonsense. Right? Chabo. Chabo, yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I took I took I took a drive here and um, the receipt I was about to drop it and I could hear a voice telling me don't drop it <laughs> Yeah you need it in your books Alright Pirus are the sweetest of them all oh. At the end of it all we appreciate for all that you did to us and we thank you for linking us up. And I'm gonna tell you one more thing. Mr. Edwin was one of my clients. Oh my God. Oh my God. We never met, we only talk on calls and WhatsApp. Today was the first time we met with him. So remember, when you're offering a service, you never know who the person is. He or she can be your advisor, your partner or can be part of your business right yeah that's all